Welcome to another episode of Tipsy Kitchen. I'm gonna do an ahi tuna recipe today. I order ahi tuna at basically every restaurant I go to that offers that on the menu. So I get that like every side of it is seared, but like I've never made it before. So we're gonna see how that turns out, I guess. So, uh, should we just jump right in? Oh, by the way, um, I don't have, I'm not going off of a recipe. I would figure I'd just wing it. So, yeah, we're just gonna do that. So, I've pulled a few options, and what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the tuna steak into a few different pieces because I want to explore all of my options. So I bought this at TJ Maxx. It's called Garlapeno Sauce, and it's literally amazing. Obviously, olive oil to cook it in. Um, I have like a basic uh, original blend Mrs. Dash all-purpose seasoning. Wait, I forgot. Sriracha. That actually adds an extra piece. Anyways, um, I bought both of these barbecue sauces because I didn't know which one I would like. We're gonna taste test those and see which one we want to use. Depending on which one we use and how spicy they are, I want to add sriracha. So, like a spicy barbecue, oh god, garlic mix. Don't need to add it to this one for sure because there's already garlic in it. So we're gonna add the garlic to the barbecue mixture and possibly the balsamic mixture. I always season my chicken with balsamic, so I figured this would be a very interesting taste test to see um, if that's very good. So, let's get our tuna. Let's slice it up. And uh, let's see what's gonna happen. We're going to slice this into Hopefully even pieces. Oh, that's actually pretty even. First of all, before we do anything, we're gonna decide which barbecue sauce we're gonna use. I like this sauce better. So we're gonna do this one, but we're gonna top it with the sriracha after it's done cooking. So now we've got our three main sauces. Go ahead and coat everything with regular seasoning that you would normally want to coat anything with. Garlic in the seasoning, but I'm going to add more garlic to two of these. I just kind of take everything and coat it on up. Now I have to prep some pans because I got one pan out and then I thought if I put all these in one pan they're going to contaminate each other and we're not going to get the full flavor of what they actually taste like. Basically searched everywhere to try and figure out whether it needs to be on high, medium, high medium, low medium, whatever the temperature needs to be to cook the tuna steak. And I can't find that anywhere. All I found was times to cook it. So basically, I have everything on basic medium on five. Five on the dial. Um, I can smell the oil. I don't know whether I should stick them on there or not. Why does my fridge say 146? Eight, and it's 11.55. It's neither here nor there. I think these are hot enough. This one is the balsamic. This one is, this is obviously the barbecue. And that's really good. Barbecue garlic, A plus. I don't know what this flavor is. It's either the garlic pigno or the balsamic. 
gonna go with garlapeno because it has a little bit of a kick to it. So this has to be the balsamic. Uh-huh. I have balsamic. But my favorite out of all these flavors, I think it's gonna be the barbecue. Mm -hmm. I pretty much always prefer barbecue over everything. And I left the barbecue out. My second choice would have been the gar garlapeno, but barbecue is always my first choice, 100%. Oh my god. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, do all of that shit. 